Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you, I'm just basically going to make a song from scratch and I'm going to try to make it within 10 minutes. Um, just to, it'll be like an improvis, improvised song right on the spot so you can kind of see how the process goes. I'm going to be using only Logic Pro, uh, mostly just the synths that come with it. Um, and I apologize in advance for the audio of the, uh, the room. I know it's not, I'm just recording from my MacBook. And uh, you may see some a dog in the background every once in a while. You might see my fiance walk by, but just deal with it. Uh, all right, let's get started. So I'm just going to, and I'll try to narrate as I go. I'm going to start with a synth. I love the ES2 because you can do a ton of stuff with it. Um, I like to start with my basic thing here. Uh, so let's see, make a mono synth. Um, I like to record a synth part first and then just edit edit the synth type later to kind of fix it. Uh, I'm just going to make something up. Just go with it. Kind of a 50s jazz rock synth part right there. Let's quantize it to 16th notes. Loop it. Check the MIDI. If there was a note in there that I want to take out. Oh, I got rid of the first note. Because it's a mono part, you can overlap notes, and it won't um, it won't do anything bad to it. it. Won't play multiple notes at the same time. So I like to make each note connected and overlap them a little bit, so it always is that perfect overlap. All right, let's change the synth while it's playing. Add another oscillator. Now again, I'm going faster than I probably would normally. Might spend more time making a synth, but try not to. I've already spent three minutes so on this video. Add some chorus. Maybe add a little bit of a, a punch to the beginning. Now, right now, it's being controlled by the envelope. And the envelope. The envelope is uh, taking too long. So if I lower the speed of the decay. Add some bend, glide, I mean. Let's make it decay after a while. Now the great thing is with this keyboard, I can go here to key command, or no, uh, where is it? control surfaces, learn assignment. Um, and then if I just touch that and then move a, a knob here, I can now control on the keyboard. So let's just record this right here. Um, let's do a four bar thing, or not a four bar, four section thing. And then let's, I'm going to start with the decay low, and then over time, have it rise. And if I turn on latch, it will turn on automation. You'll be able to see what I'm doing uh, as I record it, so as I play this. That's a bad start. Start a little higher. Okay, good, we get a little synth part now. Let's add a bass. Already at five minutes. Wow, that goes fast. Uh, let's go to a, I'm just gonna use a preset for now on this bass, synth bass. Let's 
Best baseline, but it'll work. So it needs to be louder. Oh, oops. I'm gonna make sure I turn off latches and keep recording by automation. Let's spread out the sound a little bit on that synth so it's not. to that. Turn it up. I think a little bit of an echo would be good too. Had some drums now. I'm running low on time here, so let's hope to get this basic one. So for next time, I can do um, a little bit of uh, more on this song. Originally, I was planning on doing little songs, but I think there's just not enough time to do a full tune in 10 minutes. Um, let's see what's good. Use that one for now. All right, while this is playing, I'm going to make my drum beat. Let's see the default. Make my own. Make my own. Side a little bit, maybe snare a little bit on the on the left. I'm not a drummer, so I may be putting it on the wrong sort of side than usual. But I just kind of like to do whatever sounds good. Just kind of mess around with it. Put each things, put things on different sides. Now it just has a little bit more of a direction. Let's get that in there. Loop it. And when I have that thing where the piano cuts out like that, I'm gonna, or the synth thing comes out, I'm gonna cut out the drums there. And let's add a little bit of reverb to the drums too, so it doesn't just cut cold. The snare is a little too far left.
there you have it. Not too worried about levels or anything like that right now. I'm just getting the basic ideas down. Um, yeah, I like where it is so far. So I guess next time I'll continue on with this. Thanks for watching.